Hello and welcome to this latest video. In this video we're going to look at installing NetBeans 11 which was released today on Windows. Uh, I'm using Windows 7 here but the same applies for Windows 8, 8.2 and Windows 10. So let's have a look at installing it. Now first of all it doesn't come with an installer yet. Uh, this is due to licensing requirements for the JDK and so consequently there is no installer. So first of all you come to the Apache NetBeans Apache.org website and you click on download. Next you want to come to where it says binaries. Now this is very important. You want binaries okay and click on the binaries this will then take you to a new mirror page and it makes a suggestion for which is the best mirror for you there are other mirrors if you want them but this is the best mirror for you okay now I've already downloaded you can see I've actually downloaded it here so I won't download it again but basically you just click on this and it will start downloading. Okay, once it's downloaded, you need to unzip it. So I've downloaded it into the file, and you can see it here. You can actually see the old NetBeans 10 above. And this is just in my downloads section. So I use a program called PZip and you can see I've just opened it all and all I'm going to do is click on extract okay so we'll click on OK and this will take a moment or two we'll come back when it's finished extracting okay as you can see it's now finished extracting so let's have a look. We'll just close PZIP and you can see we've got incubating NetBeans 11. Now if we just have a look in there you'll see we've got all the folders. Right, the first thing we need to do if we go back is we need to change the name. So press F2 on your keyboard and just type in NetBeans space 11.0 and press enter. Now we need to move this file, this folder sorry, to our C drive local disk so we can run it. So right click on it, click on cut, click on local disk C, you might have to come down to this local disk C and inside this section you can already see I've got NetBeans 9 and NetBeans 10 um, right click again just in the blank portion here and click paste. Now this again will take a moment or two while it copies them across. Okay that's that done. Now if this is the first time that you've installed NetBeans you're going to need to check to see if you've got Java or the JDK installed on your system. So click on program files and look for a folder marked Java. As you can see, I've actually got one, and I've got a number of the, the JDKs. I've got JDK and the JRE. It's the JDK which is important, and it should be at least 1.8 or above. Uh, 1.8 or 1.11 are good. Okay, so as you can see, I've got them on there. Right, so. We're now nearly ready to go, but we need to create a start menu icon, and that's a little bit more difficult. So what we will do is, right, we need to create a start menu icon. Now to do that, we need, first of all, to have the file. Now I'm on a 64-bit machine so this is the file that I want 
if you're on a 32-bit machine then this is the file you want netbeans.exe but most people will be on a 64-bit machine so you want the netbeans64.exe but before we do that we actually need to be able to go to the correct place to put a shortcut for this so if you click in the address bar and then enter and I will put a link below for this okay and then enter this into your address bar and press enter it will actually bring up your start menu okay so click on programs and you want to click on new folder and type in netbeans11 and press enter next we need to go back to our netbeans11 folder with bin folder with the netbeans64 I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to click create shortcut I'm then going to right click on the shortcut and I'm going to click cut I will then click the forward arrow to go to the netbeans 11 and click on paste again with it highlighted I shall press F2 and I shall delete that and just type in netbeans 11 Remember, this is a shortcut, it's not the actual program, and press enter. Now, you now have a NetBeans 11 icon on menu. Unfortunately, I can't show you that because it's on my other screen, but uh, it does exist. I, I, I promise you it is there. Okay, so we've got our menu, so I shall click on my menu and we will start NetBeans. Now this will take a moment or two to start and the first thing you'll see is confirm import. Now if you have, this will come up if you have a previous version of NetBeans on your system. Okay. Now I'm going to actually import this but it's your choice of whether or not you want to do it. Now this will import all the settings so all I need to do is click yes and it will import all my settings for me. Uh, again this might take a moment or two depending on how many settings that you actually have and once you've done that we will get the NetBeans screen. Again I can't quite show you that because it's on a, a different screen and I can't copy it across. Now this will take a moment to uh, to set up because it's the first time it's set up so it's checking your system and it's creating the various files that it needs uh, for its dependencies okay it's finished it's starting up at the moment because I have a number of projects open it's actually opening those projects the first time round it will ask you to put the NetBeans IDE plugin installer this is actually quite important and to do the parser so click on next accept install you might get a, a message here and we'll click a, I'll come back to that message in a moment so it's put the installer the uh, parser in so we'll click on finish you can see it's opening the project and what I'll do is I'll click on this message and you can see that we get the message to come up and it says do you want to import I shall click on that and you can see that there are a number of items here that it wants to import now all of these are extra items that I've added so I want to install them um, oops and we'll do that in a moment okay we've clicked on everything and we'll click import now it will probably want to restart the IDE once it's finished importing so it says a restart needed it's doing a background scan of the project but this will actually stop while the question is up so I'm going to click on no and let 
and click on next. Right, NetBeans has restarted after loading all the modules and you can see I've got my code templates and that type of thing up here. I'll just um, move those to the side so that there's a bit more to, to see and I'll move this up into the window. Right, where are we? It's now opening the projects. As I say, I've got four projects over and that open. So it's now scanning in the background the projects. This will take a few minutes, but basically uh, this is NetBeans 11 up and running. And as you can see at the top here, it says Apache NetBeans. Just very quickly, if you need to add any plugins, you can click on Tools, Plugins. It will check if there's any updates required. And you've given us two, but I don't need either of these at the moment. Um, you can see I've got a number of installed plugins, but some are not actually activated, and they won't be activated until they're needed. But what you can do is, if you need some plugins, you can come to available plugins, and you may well have a longer list, and you can just select them and then select install. Now, some of the plugins won't actually activate until you actually open a project. So if you come into the project and you click on it, it will actually then say, yes, we're going to activate and load in the project, uh, load in the plugins that are required. So you may find that the first time you run something, it will actually activate that. The other way it can actually do it is from the options dialog. And when you actually click on this, it will say, OK, we need to activate that or we need to activate this and go ahead and activate and everything will be running as normal. If you want to have a look at how to set up the options, I've got a number of videos on this and I'll uh, post links at the end of this video. I hope you found that useful. Please like, subscribe, share and comment below. And my name's John and I'll see you next time.